Hello, I'm Professor Norton, and I've made a series of 20 videos, which are lectures that I gave at WPI over the past few years on the subject of machine design to accompany my text, Machine Design in an Integrated Approach. These videos start with Chapter 4, because Chapters 1 through 3 are essentially review of topics that you are expected to have had before you take this course. Your instructor may do something differently and may in fact lecture on some of those topics, and that's fine. Chapter 1 is introductory, Chapter 2 is a review of material science, and Chapter 3 is a review of dynamic calculations. Uh, and 4, where I start, is uh, actually a review also of the first stress course that you should have had before taking this course. The title of this course is usually something like Design of Machine Elements or possibly Machine Design. Uh, but at its core, it's really an advanced stress analysis course. It's the first course in which you will typically be exposed to the topic of fatigue analysis. Uh, parts that are in machines typically fail by a, a mechanism called fatigue, and it's quite different than that you're exposed to in the first stress course where all loads are static. So these lectures, as I said, were recorded while I gave this course at WPI. And the, they're done in a classroom with a live class. And the video is captured from the screen of the computer on which I'm uh, using the PowerPoints. And you'll hear my voice, but you won't see my face because there was no camera in the, in the classroom for that purpose. Uh, there's no disadvantage to this, really, except for the fact that from time to time I would bring into class some demonstrations, hardware, to show the class, and you won't see that. You will hear me talking about it, but you won't be able to see anything uh, associated with those demonstration items. So I've made some separate videos of those things. they gears and springs and bearings and things of that nature that I brought into class to show the students. So those are also on your DVD, and I would uh, encourage you to take a look at those as well and, and as a companion video to the lecture on that topic. There'll be a note at the beginning of, the, of a lecture if there are in fact supplemental videos for you to go look at. So I hope that these give you some help in understanding the material. It's always useful I think to have uh, an alternate uh, description of the material that you are being uh, taught in a given chorus. And uh, I'd be interested to have any feedback from you in terms of whether or not these are of value to you. You can reach me by email. My address is just my last name, Norton, at wpi.edu. So good luck with the course. I hope you enjoy it. And have fun.